How old are you, Miss Duncan? 24. How old do you have to be to rent a car? Uh, I think it's 25. That's correct. And they do that for a reason. So this is the first part of your case. Mr. Delico, this is, was your girlfriend for a little while. According to your complaint, sir, you rented a car for her because you said... Her car broke down. J I don't care. Okay. You said, unfortunately, she was unable to rent a car on her own. Correct. Well, the reason she's unable to rent a car on her own is because rental car companies don't rent people who are under 25 years old, right? I was unaware of that. Well, then why did you think she couldn't rent a car in her own name? I... I but the, the, why did you think? I, I didn't know that she had to be 25 no, no, to rent a, a car. They never said that when I was just, in the Enterprise Mr. Place. Delico, it's going to be difficult or it's going to be easy, sir? Yes. There's a reason she didn't go to the rental car company and rent from Enterprise herself and said to you, rent a car for me, okay? She was your girlfriend at the time. She did try to go and Just, rent a car, and she couldn't. And, she, and, and they that's would all not, I knew, so I went to help her rent the car. Listen to me, sir. You're not getting any money from her for Enterprise. You knew better than to rent a car for her. Did you put her name down I, on the... I, Just I, listen I, to me carefully. Yes. Did you put her name down on the Enterprise agreement? And if you did, show me. I did not put her name down to rental ties. Then you're stuck with that bill. And um, I take 20, responsibility. How old are you? I'm 34. You're 34. It's the first time right. I've been in a vehicle. Right. Mr. Delico, I can't help you, sir. Uh, Enterprise is your problem. Now, let's get to the breaking lease fee. According no to you, she was living... Just, Enterprise is I your problem. She had an accident with the car. She wasn't covered on the car. You shouldn't have let a 24-year-old drive a car that you leased in your name without putting her name down as a driver. You kept that from them. That's your problem. You have to come into court with clean hands. You did not. You don't get any money. Now, let's move on to the break lease fee. According to what I read, in addition to renting her a car, you also signed a lease for her. She signed so a lease So she could well. move... So she could move into an apartment. And I have that. You co-signed the lease for her. Then, according to you, she moved in with you and left the apartment that you had co-signed for to come to move in with you. Now, you say she promised she would pay the break lease fee. She says you told her, I want you to come in to move in with me. I'll pay the break lease fee. Is that your defense? Yes, ma'am. That's your defense. Now, give me the month and year that you moved in with him? Um, I want to say it was February 2017. And in what month and year had That's you both incorrect. signed the lease? Yes, I'm not sure on the date. Uh, Just a second. The, it was my birthday, August 14th, 2016. And it was a year lease, correct? Yes, ma'am. And you lived with him from February of 2017 until when? Only um, a month. Until March. And where are you living now? I'm in Florida. And where does he live? He's still in... Uh, St. Louis County. On what date did you go to Florida? It was... Oh, God, I'm bad with dates. What was the date? Don't, don't look at him. Now, he knows. Now, now, come back to me. He knows the Where date. were you working when you were living with I him? I was a waitress at a nightclub in St. Louis. And you were still waiting on tables the day that you left the house that you were sharing together... Yes, ...until a few weeks ago. No. Until a few weeks ago. Yes, ma'am. Right? I've been in Florida for going on a month now. Well, going on a month is a few weeks. Yes, ma'am.